Welcome to another Old Timer Centre video guys. Today I've got something a bit different for you. It is a 2010 BMW X1. Quite a very, well it's a niche vehicle. It's not quite a full blown SUV and it's certainly not a car. It resides somewhere in between and it has the practicality of both. It's very recent being a 2010 model. It is a two litre turbo diesel and it is the X drive. So you've got all wheel drive, full time. And the paintwork is uh, highly reflective and very nice. I'll just take you on a full walk around of the car. You can see how glossy and shiny it is. You can probably see me reflected in the paint here. And it's uh, hard to even find a mark on it. You've got front parking sensors, front fog lights, HID projector headlamps, that signature kidney grill. Actually look quite quite sleek and menacing from the front. Tires, we are wearing near new Pirelli P7s and we're looking at 225, 45 R18s. There's a tiny bit of gutter rash on that wheel that we will have repaired. That's about the only fault I can find on this beautiful little car. Unmarked black leather following through into the back and with this very expensive panoramic sunroof option that does not come cheap in BMW options packs opening up in the boot it is remote so I hold that down and there we have it huge load over floor and I particularly like this side because you've got individual see these individual lines here you can fold the seats flat singly so if you just need one down the ski pass through in the middle or the left side or the right side you don't have to collapse the whole group under the back here we've got little compartment spaces BMW does use run flats on these it's a very modern system saves you from having to get out and change the tire you just drive Rear parking sensors, of course. Provisions for roof rails. Digital radio antenna there. Very comfortable black seats. I don't think the kids would complain about sitting back here. In fact, I'm just over six foot. And the driver's seat is set for my position. And I still don't even nearly touch. It's a nice place to be, especially with this panoramic sunroof. I feel very comfortable back here, so it's by no means a tight fit. You've got cup holders for the kids back here too. Got a 12 volt power outlet so they can plug in their iPads and charge them or DVD players. I'm gonna step into the business section of the vehicle and take you through its suite of features now. I mean, I, I love these cars. They, you know, they're kind of a niche. Mercedes doesn't really have anything to offer in this category. Audi does, but otherwise it's just things like a Nissan Duallis or a Ford Cougar. And why do you want one of those when you can have a BMW for less than their new price? It, it makes no sense to me. Now, starting up the car, it is keyless. So you put the key in the hole there, put your foot on the brake, and press the button to go. Fires right up. No diesel delay, it's very quiet. I'm gonna put the windows up. And I'm gonna show you now this expansive sunroof wind. If you, if you, if you don't want the sunroof open, just hold this button here. You wouldn't even know it was there. So of course we've got the multimedia steering wheel with Bluetooth capability. 
we've got dual zone climate control, BMW professional stereo, they sound fantastic. Touch shift manual transmission with sport mode. So currently I'm in drive. If I shift it to the left, you'll see here, it changes to drive sport. So that's still not manual mode, that's sports mode. And what that will do is it will hold the transmission gears longer and it will allow me to rev the engine more freely to get the most power out of it. So if you're, you know, hustling along and in a rush, shift it into that. Even more so, you can touch up and down. As you can see on the screen here, it correlates with my gears here, and I can shift the car manually. Otherwise, just set and forget in drive, and don't even worry about a thing. We do have, it's a bit dark, I don't know if you'll see it, we have an auxiliary input down here. So you can plug in an iPod, or an MP3 player, or a phone, whatever, whatever suits. Just get the little cord, it's very standard, it's about five to ten bucks at JB Hi-Fi away. Air conditioning is ice cold. Wonderful storage space up here. It's very deep. Cell phones, wallets, no problems. Close it away. It's discreet and out of sight. We do have automatic headlight feature down here. So set and forget. The lights will come on. It's a twilight sentinel. When the car senses it's getting dark, they'll come on. Otherwise, you've got the old-fashioned way. Parkers, normal lights. Fogs front and rear down the side there. Alrighty, well that about covers it. It's a nice, simple, ergonomic car. Great visibility out the front and the back. It's a very light and airy cabin, especially with that panoramic sunroof open. And it's nice to have a conventional handbrake instead of one of those foot push ones. I'm just gonna show you under the hood and tell you a little bit more about this two liter turbo diesel. Bear with me while I get it open. There we go. It's done 100,000 or 99,000 Ks. Great documentation. Uncompromised vehicle. I can see here it's even got the original build stickers on it. Those don't get replaced if it's been in a crash. We don't take accident damage vehicles here. And we look for the very best. So it's called Titan Silver Metallic. There you go. Two litre turbo diesel, as I said, these things are extremely quick and they deliver such good fuel economy. They're very torquey motors rather than horsepower figures. Basically, if you fill this up and you didn't drive it too hard, you'd get to Melbourne on one tank. That's the kind of range and economy you get on these. It's sensational. Nice thunk, nice heavy piece of metal. You only get that thunk with German cars, folks. I've found anyway. Just take you on one final walk around this beautiful little car, slash SUV. I don't even know what to call it. It's somewhere in between. Micro SUV. There we go. We're the old timer center. We specialize in European cars. We always have about 70 in stock. Plenty of BMWs, Mercs, Porsches, Volkswagens, Jaguars, Audis, you name it, we've got it. We'd love to talk to you further about this. www.old.com.au for all our contact details.